Yo guys, it's Nate, and welcome back to Film Bomb Studios. Today we are back with another Power Rangers tier list. Uh, we've done quite a lot of Rangers now. We still got some left, and some kind of niche categories to go through. But today is kind of the final one color of Ranger uh, video, and that is the White Ranger tier list. So once again, I have concocted another tier list of the White Rangers. There weren't many White Rangers, um, so we kind of just, you know, so it's, it's a bit of a limited tier list, but uh, I think we can have a bit of fun with it. First up we have Alyssa, the the white Wild Force Ranger. Now, this is the thing, with Rangers like this, and obviously we'll move on to the same with uh, Haley as well, they kind of like, they were in the place of pink Rangers, so they were white but had pink on them, and obviously Alyssa wears a pink uh, jumper underneath her jacket. Um, so I'd, even though she's a white ranger, they kind of underplayed it as like, yeah, but really she's meant to be the pink ranger. So yeah, it's a bit weird. She was a good ranger. She ended up becoming a teacher by the end of the series. Um, so I will put Alyssa just solid in B tier. She was alright, but then Wild Forces were a really good season anyway. Dominic, the white jungle fury ranger. Now, Dominic is a bit of a weird one. He was one of those rangers that whenever classed as the white ranger, he was always the rhino ranger. Um, so he was alright. He was cool. His morpho was really awesome. I, I always wanted one as a kid, but like, a, like they did like small versions, but I really wanted a big one. They would just like flip out and the sword came out. Um, I'll I'll put Dominic. Yeah, I think Alyssa is kind of cooler than Dominic. I'll, I'm happy to say that. Udana, Princess Udana, absolute A tier. Could boost up to S tier, but she was really cool. I love how she was kind of mellow about it at the start, and then when the Rangers just like wouldn't use magic, wouldn't like you were getting that ass kicked. Uh, she just came in more for the wand. She didn't. She didn't mess about with no cell phone. She had a wand, and yeah, uh, I believe the actress actually passed away. So uh, you know, thoughts go out. But Dana was, was a cool ranger. Now this next one is meant to be Lord Drake, and but his head got cut out. But you know, he's, he's still technically a white ranger. I know he's like a merge of white and green, but the main body suit is white. So I guess you know we'll we'll, we'll be okay with to say that. Absolute test here. Lord Drake is just. The coolest thing Power Rangers have done in a long time, and I really want to see a Shattered Grid live action or at least animated show because I think that'd be awesome. Cat, she morphed once. She had a morpher that would only work for an hour. We didn't get to see her for that long, <laughs> but like that was the kind of the idea. I think it was an hour. Um, some people would say she's also kind of like an orange ranger, but I'd say the white ranger vibe is more prominent. I'll put her in C tier because Cat as a character was really good. Um, as the kind of like Alpha 5 character of SPD. But as a ranger, obviously we didn't see her for that long. But it was cool to see that she did get to morph at some point. So, you know, I'll... Actually, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put it at the end of B tier. Because she was good. The character was great. But as a ranger, we only saw her once. So, um, I can't really give too high praise to her. Hayley, now, you guys know that I haven't been ranking Ninja Steel Rangers very high. Mainly because the season isn't great. And some of the acting was very questionable. And a lot of, the, a lot of Power Rangers acting is. But I'll put Hayley... In C tier. She wasn't too bad. Wasn't great. Sam, SPD Omega Ranger, once again, not classed as a White Ranger, but in fact, the Omega Ranger. Again, after the S tier. Sam was so cool. We see him as a kid, and then he's like, oh, I'll see you soon in the future, wherever. And then the future, future Sam. So he, in the present timeline, he's a kid, but in the future, he comes back in time. To help the rangers out and he never demorphs until the final episode where you get to see him and the nova ranger in their actual you know human form which is really cool tommy oliver the white mighty morphing ranger what can we say for tommy i'll put tommy a tier after udana because tommy came back and he was the leader and i feel like that's where you know, he was the Green Ranger, then turning the White Ranger. Obviously, there's always hype, and I always, I've, every time he's shown up in a tier list, I've, I've kind of said my part about it. But he was a cool White Ranger when he first showed up. I think, obviously, as Mighty Muffin went on, it kind of just lost the value, seeing as they did, they had so many characters coming in and out and so many random storylines. But I'm happy to put Tommy in A tier. Delphine, the White Aquatar, Aquitian Ranger, Ranger of Aquatar, the first ever female White Ranger we had, um, and the second ever White Ranger we had. <laughs> Um, I'll put her there. He didn't do a lot there, their miniseries. She was cool, because she was kind of... Because this is the thing, see, so... Obviously, the leader of the... I want to call it Kaku Ranger? Let's Google that. Well, first of all, I'll just Google Kaku Ranger and see what that is. Well, hey! <laughs> I've never been too fluent with my Japanese Sentai names, but I'm proud I remember that one. <laughs> yeah, so obviously, the leader of that team was the Red Ranger. 
But because Tommy was the leader of the Mighty Morphin Rangers as the White Ranger, they wanted to make Delphine the leader of them, so they're like the two White Ranger leaders. But then every time we saw Japanese footage, it was always the Red Ranger taking the lead. Um, so they kind of, you know, messed about with that. And all like the Shogun Zords and uh, the, the Battle Bogues and stuff like that, and all the weapons, they were meant for those Rangers. It's cool that they incorporated them, and it was cool that we got to see those suits. But yeah, I feel it was a bit, yeah, a bit messy. And finally, Trent Mercer, the White Dino Thunder Ranger. He started off evil, just like Tommy originally did, eventually came, and eventually came over to the light side and joined the Rangers as the fifth Dino Thunder Ranger. Trent was a very, very good Ranger. I would very much argue that he goes top of A tier. Hmm. Well, that's the tier list done, but I'm just looking at this and I need to... There's no one in D tier this time, let alone creating like a subcategory for how bad they are. Um, I'm happy to say that. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. There we go. That is my White Ranger tier list. So no one in D tier. In C tier, we have Haley the White Ninja Sto Steel Ranger. Ninja Steel, I apologize. Um, but in fact, I'll, I'll put it at the end of B tier because she was alright. She was cool. And as much as I don't think she's as good as these, she does go at the end of the B tier. But yeah, I'll, yeah, okay. So no one in C tier, no one in D tier. In B tier, from bottom to top, we have Haley the White Ninja Steel Ranger. Cat, uh, the cat slash white slash orange. Uh, SPD Ranger, Delphine the White Alien Ranger, Dominic the White Dino Fury Ranger, and Alyssa the White Wild Force Ranger. In A tier, from bottom to top, we have Tommy the White Mighty Morphin Ranger, Udana the White Mystic Force Ranger, and Trent the White Dino Thunder Ranger. And in S tier, we have Sam the White Slash Omega SPD Ranger, and top of uh, S tier Lord Draken. And there we have it. That is my ranking of the White uh, the White. Power Rangers. Do you guys have any different opinions? Let me know down below. And also, as always, you can find all of these um, tier lists that I make on on what's the website called? Is it just tier maker? Tier list maker for everything. There we are. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like and possibly sharing it and subscribe to the channel. We upload every Wednesday and Saturday at 6:30 p.m. British summer time. Thank you guys, and I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.